Welcome to the Orangeburg Area Free Public Library and to our summer reading pro program, Tales and Tales. Today I'm going to read a book called Hippos Are Huge by Jonathan London and Matthew, uh, and the book's uh, pictures done by Matthew Truman. Hippos Are Huge. This book was donated by the women of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, the Catherine E. Macy in memory of L. Marjorie Elgin and the Pilco Foundation of Cottage Grove, Oregon. Hippos are huge. Hippos are huge. Except for elephants, no other land animals are as large as hippopotamuses. They can weigh as much as 50 men. A hippo has the biggest mouth of any animal in the world, except for the whales. Watch out, a hippo's yawn is a threat. It means stay away. Which do you think is the most dangerous animal in Africa? A lion? A crocodile? No! Would you believe that the hippo is the most dangerous animal in Africa? With their monstrous jaws and their razor-sharp tusks, hippos can bite a giant crocodile in half or chomp a small boat into two, and they are fast. They can run faster than a human, and they can travel faster in water, too. Hippos don't really swim. Look, first they dive with their ears pressed against their head and their nostrils closed. Next, they bounce gracefully along the bottom, kicking off with their hind legs, and they glide then dance on their tippy toes and kick off again. Hippos burst through the surface, spouting fountains of water from their nostrils. When Hippo isn't dancing along the water or chasing crocodiles, she spends most of the day with just her ears, eyes, and nose sticking out of the water, resting and watching. A cattle egret picks its dinner of insects from the hippo's ears and fish nip, nip, nips tidbits of food stuffed between the, the hippo's teeth. Yum! Just then, a great commotion erupts and the hippos watches as two bulls square off. The two bulls turn and stand rump to rump. Then they swing their tails like baseball bats and spring and swat balls of dung at each other. Splat, splat. It's a smelly message to keep out. When this doesn't work, the defending bull yawns to show off his powerful tusk, then pounces with a great roar and attacks with its giant jaws. Hippos watch as they honk and snort until finally the defeated bull limps away. In the nearby nursery, hippos watch baby hippo playing. Two calves play fight in a hippo tug of war with their jaws locked together. Soon it will be hippo's turn to mate, and in a few months she'll have a baby of her own. Months pass, the rains come, and fill the lakes and rivers, and now it is time. The hippo stands in net deep water, and a baby is born. The baby hippo paddles to the surface and its head pops up for his first breath. Then he dives back down and nudges hippo's teats for her milk. A few weeks later, later, hippo and her calf join the nursery and wallow in the mud. They snuggle together and gently lick and nuzzle each other. Though baby hippo, hippo looks tiny next to his mother, when he's six months old, he'll weigh nearly 500 pounds. Hippos are huge. And that is the, the nonfiction story that we read for today. Come on in and join us for story time for our summer reading program on Tuesdays at 11 o'clock. Thanks for joining us and have a good day.